yes people uh reality based diets you know what it is by now yeah you know progress and life 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 uh i mean try to you know drop some some bits and pieces here and there yeah like but today yeah i got some pieces to drop right uh, and I was thinking, like, um, I was thinking, like, do you remember, remember that, um, obviously, the younger people might not remember this, yeah, like, I'm showing my age here, um, but yeah, the, the Indiana Jones movie, right, well, there's loads of them, right, but, like, I believe it's, I believe it's Raiders of the Lost Ark, I think, or it might not be, I, you know, but it's the one, it's the one where they have to find or that, you know, the, the Holy Grail, yeah? Obviously, first and foremost, you know, there's a lot to be said about, you know, <laughs> like white, either European or we we'll call it American, but it's still white European. Um, are archaeologists, scientists going to other people's countries and taking shit that ain't theirs? But that's besides the point. We'll push that to the side. That's that's for someone else to pick apart, right? But um, you know, in, in the scene where they're in the the cavern and they have to choose the uh, which cup is the holy grail, right? Uh, and obviously, I'm pretty sure there was all Nazis and all the rest of it involved. They was all up in there, right? But um, obviously, the people choosing the Holy Grail were all going for the the most extravagant, decadent, like goblets. I think they're called, yeah. Um, and you know, each one of them. Cause there was a, a knight of the templar there and all that like wasn't there it's a knight of the Templar, like this big old british you like more not you old man yeah big british old man in the middle of the middle east just in a cave covered in dust and that but um you know each one of them was choosing these extravagant decadent goblets yeah taking a sip instantly dead yeah and the templar the knight of the templar was every time that they got it wrong he said you have chosen unwisely <laughs> and then obviously in the in the indiana jones because he used his head and he understood and knew the story of Christ. Like, like I said before, Christ was a man of the people. Christ was from humble backgrounds. So Indiana Jones knew that, you know, the Holy Grail wouldn't be decadent. It wouldn't be covered in jewels, you know? And like they say, like all that glitters isn't gold, right? So when he picked his, when he made his choice, the Knight of the Templar said, you have chosen wisely. Yeah, remember that bit? Yeah, Indy won the day, but I woke up thinking about that because something within me tells me that we are, what do they call it? We're approaching zero hour. Is that what they call it? We're approaching the event horizon. Um, we are approaching final destination. Um, and one of the main things that I want to 
get across to people um mainly and it's is in fact not even mainly solely to people that actually know me in real life in the 3d um like i'm saying to you man when these when these towers start hitting now number one thing you can't say i didn't warn you right just like you can't say i didn't warn you about your haitian friend i warned you a while back i didn't speak about it again since because i said what i said um i warned many people that i know here that you know there could well be some level of what's the word deception that you have been recruited with by my family whether or not you chose to to, uh, to take heed and got the fuck away from them and cleaned up whatever you needed to clean up i have no idea all i know is them towers are about to start hitting and how that goes for you is gonna depend on whether you chose wisely or you chose unwisely right and it's that simple it always is that simple in life we all have choices to make on a daily basis some more simple than others like for me a lot of the time i got to choose which supermarket or mini market I'm going to. And I usually base it off of whether or not I need coconut milk. <laughs> because there's one store that does the brand that I really like. Do you know what I'm saying? And then all the other stores do all the, all the brands that is just there and it's, you know, it's added sugars and all this other stuff, right? <clears throat> but... When lockdown hit, when all I could do was sit in one place and have to think and not reminisce, but like run a comb over my life, right? With nothing but honesty with myself, within myself. I had a choice to make and the choice was stay the same or do better and change and I came out of that and I moved forwards like I'm saying to you the first thing I did because um, I was already making music all throughout lockdown that's where I started like going harder with the music but first thing I did was just start that like, was get a job right um because I thought, right, I know that I can make this music, boom, 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 but I know I need money to put it out, boom, 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 boom. So I did what was necessary, right? Bullshit jobs in the beginning, right? Because number one, I didn't really want the responsibility of having to care about the job. I just wanted some something that, you know, it's as simple as ABC. Yeah, you go, you do, you leave. Right, because I knew I had other stuff that I wanted to do, so I did that, and then I kept growing. Obviously, I had my gym routine, uh, I had my music routine, I had my work routine, and I had my studies. And the combination of these things led me on a journey, right. A journey of self-discovery a journey that i did not know i was going on um and it kind of came to this point <clears throat> i can't remember whether it was in december or november right uh of last year so like i'm talking a couple of years of you know smacking it out gaining confidence gaining knowledge gaining um inner standing right of mostly what I am capable of when I apply myself. So in that moment, in that recognition of that, 
I decided to start trying to aim a bit higher, right? Um, I started applying for much better, much more ambitious jobs. Um, and to my surprise, I was getting interviews. Um, and I was, you know, and it, these jobs were good, really well paid jobs, right? And the last one that I applied for uh, was a, a, a graduate training manager, fast track thing uh, for basically a, a, a car sales company, right? Um, and I'm not I'm not a graduate, right? But what I did is I blagged it on the on the application right, that I did have a degree, right? Uh, and then on the Skype interview, obviously face to face with the recruiter, smacked it out of the park, killed it. I was on my own at the time; no one was around me. Yeah? It was just me and my son. Smacked it out of the park, right? They invited me to come for a, a formal interview. Uh, these times now, nobody outside of my ex knew that I was going for this interview because she was here on the day that I was going, right? So I've gone down to do the interview, right? First part of the interview goes really, really well. But within the time of me doing the first part and then me waiting to do the second part, I do believe that somebody called the company and the branch that I was at and told them he doesn't have a degree, he's lying. Which I was, to be fair. But up until that moment, I was about to get that job. They loved me. That's the facts, right? Now, at that point, I was ready to just stop the music thing and just go do this this other thing because I was just looking peas. Like I'm saying, it's a fast track thing. Uh, after two years, it would have been uh, 65K a year, boom, straight off the bat, right? I don't know what that works out to in dollars, right? But like uh, in the UK, that's nice, yeah? You'll live all right, yeah? But like I'm saying, the only person who knew I was at the interview, the only person who knew that I'd blagged it was my ex, right? So, within that, especially now, I see Wild Guan, right? So someone had called them, and obviously I didn't get the job. Went back home. Obviously they didn't tell me someone had called them, but you know, you know when something switches up quickly, weird vibes, you get it. And then I went home. I went back to my yard, my girl was there. Uh, and I was depressed, because I thought that was the vibe, I thought everything was gonna move on. Uh, and yeah, all she did was make it worse. I wonder why, right? So, within that now, that kind of sparked a series of events. Number one, me, like, I think the next day I told her to get out because she was just, like, I'm, I'm at my desk. Uh, at the time, I was probably doing a load of artwork and all the rest of it on Photoshop and da 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 And she'd just be sat lurking behind me and I could just feel, I could feel her eyeing me. And it was just like, what are you doing? Look, listen, you don't live here. Can you leave now? Please just leave. Da -da -da -da. And she's like, well, if I leave, we're breaking up. I'm like, cool, just don't be here. Go live your life, it's all good, right? Um, and that was probably what sparked that series of events, like I'm saying. Like maybe the, no it wasn't, like she was already on her mission to destroy me and it's fine, like I'm saying, because it didn't work. But, you know, over the next couple, months and like literally by the end of December, beginning of January, I'd clocked largely what was going on. I'd clocked the conspiracy put into motion by her and my family, right? And I just, 
I just started sitting back and thinking, right? Because I know everyone that she knows. <laughs> and Chris is small, yeah? And then all I did was just start recalling every interaction that I've had with every single one of you for the past two years, including so-called friends. And I just put you all in a category. I put you in a category of people that had chosen unwisely, right? But me being me, rather than just pulling back and not saying nothing and leaving you all to your towers that are hitting hard, whether or not today, but it definitely will be by next week. Woo! I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And bear of my other predictions have come right, and you know fucking full well they have. Right? So, we're at this position now where the towers are hitting for everyone. So, if you did not listen to me when I told you, get yourself the fuck away from these people, get out. That's not on me, right? You have chosen unwisely, <laughs> yeah? It's that simple. It really is. Like, I can't stress it enough. Like, see me, like, I understand games. I understand that the art of surprise is way more powerful than anything else right so whilst you lot had two to three years of the art of surprise what have i had now not now around five six months head topped you all and didn't try to do it on purpose i actually tried to try show you the door right at the beginning i tried to show you the door and all now, you haven't listened. You chose unwisely. <laughs> so, when these towers start hitting, when these towers start hitting, if they're not already, please do not do yourself or me the disservice or disrespect by coming to me for you to be safe. Because you will only find a closed door. Yeah? Because regardless of whether you're trying to apologise or love bomb me now, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Like I'm saying to you, it's too late. It's too late to apologise. Jeez, come on. And that's just the way it is. You see, because I liked, because I liked you all, you very rarely saw the dark, devious side of me. And that's all that there's left for the majority of you now. Because like I'm saying, we've had five, six months. Not one word of honesty towards me, right? Instead, you try to gaslight. Instead, you try to smear campaign. Instead, you have tried to fuck with my life by calling CPS and getting fucking social services involved in my life like I have anything to hide. You fucked with my money. You fucked with my business. You've done everything that you can to try to defeat me. But it hasn't worked. And all that it's led to is you digging yourself deeper and deeper and deeper into a grave full of shit. Because whilst you was doing all of this extra shit over the past however many months, you were being investigated. I told you, I was being followed, yeah? I could probably... I reckon I've not been being followed anymore for about about a month, maybe a little bit longer. The police lost interest in me because they seen that I weren't involved in none of this shit. So guess what they guess what they would do? 
They would just turn around and investigate the people that told them to investigate me. Because that's what fucking anyone with a brain would do. Isn't it? Sorry about that. That was a bit distasteful. But, I'm, you know, my dark side, I got a weird sense of humour, right? You know, that is a bit... It's a bit of a cunt when he wants to be. <sighs> See, right, when I was growing up, when I was young, so I'd say from like, I don't know, 18 to, I don't know, 28, something like that. 10 years, yeah? Whenever I was out and about, especially in places where nobody knew me, if I was visiting a new town, new city, um, even if it was just going to a new place where you don't necessarily know too many people, I would always use a fake name. Always. Yeah. And I used to think I chose the name just because it starts with D. Because my real name is D. D-E-E, -E, right? But the name I chose, and it feels so unbelievably apt and fitting now. The name I chose was Daniel. Yeah, I used to call myself Daniel. And it's like, it's not even like, it's like a mad cool name. Like it's not, and if anyone tried to be like, cause it's not, it wasn't really my name. If anyone tried to call me Dan, no, it's Daniel. <laughs> like, it's not even my name, but I'm doubling down on the Daniel. Not Danny, not Dan. Daniel. You see, I was always born to be able to walk through the fire, to go into the lion's den. Met them lions, my bridges, bruv. The rest of you, I can't say the same, right? I can't say the same. Lives descending. <clears throat> I can't help what's gone on because I didn't do any of it. This is the season of vindication. Yeah, the touch of the most high is upon my shoulder. And the mark of the beast is all across Unalot's faces. And like I'm saying to you, man, I've never felt so calm and, and happy <laughs> in my entire life. And like I'm saying to you, yeah, Right at the beginning, I had a choice. Right at the beginning. When I say right at the beginning, I'm talking like, you know, January times. I had a choice because I did survive the final 3D attack on my life. I survived it. I could have dipped out and hid somewhere, but I didn't, right? I didn't out of principle, right? Because I realised, yeah, with, with one... One act, you revealed, my, especially my family, they revealed themselves to me. Like I'm saying to you, yeah? I thought it was fucking mad weird, the fact that so many aunties, uncles, my father, everyone, in, like, had just dropped. Yeah, back to back to back, it was just weird anyway. Then when all this shit happened, I was like, ooh. They killed them. Oh, rock. So not only did you try to kill me, which I could I couldn't get over that shit, like in terms of I could have just dipped out, hid. But as soon as I realized that you had murdered most of our bloodline. That was it for me. There weren't no going back. I was sticking around to take you all down. I gave everyone ample opportunity to get the fuck out of the way. If you ain't nothing to do with my fucking family, you should have fucking moved. 
So that Rico might be hitting. It ain't called a Rico over here, but you don't know. It's called a conspiracy charge. I told you. I told you. Yeah, if you did not listen, that's on you. And family members, yeah, if you have not been involved in the treachery and fuckery, but you was listening to Richard's fucking stupid ass, yeah, or Auntie Brenda's fucking fat, ugly bitch ass, or Auntie Lorna's fucking, this, like, you're, Auntie Lorna, you are one of the worst, like, fucking darkness within you, yeah? I do hope you are actually bananas now in that house. I hope you've got fucking, well, it's not even that I have to say I hope. That short-term memory has disappeared, isn't it? Or maybe that's Uncle Glenn, I don't know. But what I do know is them towers is hitting now, right? And if you lot didn't believe me now, woo, it's gonna be prevalent, yeah? It's gonna be clear and present. Very, 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 very soon, yeah? And all that there is gonna be is retribution for our fallen family for our taken family by these greedy, lazy, disgusting, vile creatures that sold their soul, that wanted everything. So they joined some bullshit and killed member after member of their own bloodline. Like I'm saying to you, man, it's way too late to apologize. It's way too late to come towards me, yeah? I'm seeing this shit through. Don't try to come to me and fucking bribe me, yeah? If you come to me to bribe me, in my, like, in real grudging, you might get your, fo like, like I'm saying to you, if it's a female, you won't get punched up, yeah? But you will not have the door open to you. But any of you, man, yeah, like cousins, Uncles, if you come to me, I will fuck you up on my doorstep and film it and drop it on my TikTok. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. <laughs> Even though the towers are still hitting. Because I'm like, how fucking dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Yeah, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. So within my season of vindication, yeah, any friends... Any friends that want to come towards me. If you want to come forwards and apologize, that's great. If you want to come forwards and say, look, man, I'm really sorry. This is what happened. Blah, 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 tear, tear. That's great. But I would have appreciated that. January, February, March even. We're in April. We're in April. The reality is you have chosen unwisely. <laughs> so if there's paper trail going to you, it's mad for you, bruv. And like I'm saying to you, everything I've predicted on here is true. It's coming out, yeah? I told you, police were fucking following me in fucking January, bruv. And if they lost interest because I ain't on shit, they turned it to the people that reported it to them. Deep dived, bank accounts, transactions, following, phone calls, lines tapped, undercovers in the mix. Like I'm saying to you, man, you have chosen unwisely. And Daniel, <laughs> Daniel loves the Lions then. So the game was fun. The game was fun. Don't get me wrong. It was hard. It was stressful. It was fucked up. But I survived. And I look good. <laughs> Reality-based diets. Holy Trinity. Do the work, people. Peace.